Hello, and thanks for joining our CCA tutorial for today. Today's tutorial is going to focus on modifying the default voice VLAN to another VLAN. By default, 100 is designated to be the voice VLAN, but if this is already in use, we definitely want to have a way in order to configure a new voice VLAN. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can do that. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is select Configure, Switching, and VLANs. Now once VLANs launches, you want to go down here and create a new VLAN ID. And I'm going to de designate 50. And notice this says VLAN0050 as my new name. And select OK. And apply. OK. So next, go ahead and go to telephony and voice. Now once voice is launched, you want to go up here in the second tab called network and come down to the drop down menu and select 50. And notice this says, warning, the voice VLAN is now set to a non-default voice VLAN ID, which is OK. And you want to go down here and change the addresses from 10.1.1.0 to 10.1.50.0. You want to do a similar change to um, exclude address from the CME IP address and the to address and go ahead and select apply. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to smart ports. And once smart ports is launched, so go ahead and select all the ports you want voice traffic on. And then go ahead and select modify. And on the drop down menu, you want to select IP phone and desktop. And then the access VLAN by default is one, that's the data VLAN. And under Voice VLAN, we want to select 50, because that's our new VLAN. Select OK. And select Apply. It says Modified Ports will be set to de Factory Default, which is completely fine, and select Yes. And the last thing we need to do is change the NAT security settings. And on the left-hand side, you want to go ahead and select Security and NAT. And then it says, the following interface, VLAN 50, is not configured for NAT service. To apply NAT service to unconfigured interface, you need to delete the NAT settings and reapply. Go ahead and select, delete the NAT settings. Select OK. And then on the drop-down menu, you want to select Fast Ethernet 0-0 and hit Apply. So what the final thing you need to do now is unplug all of your phones from your ports and plug them in again and this will complete the changeover uh, to your new voice VLAN. Thanks a lot for joining us today. We really hope that you found this tutorial useful.